everyone. I'm John Becker. I'm the uh, GLAA Vice President for Political Affairs. And uh, tonight I'd like to uh, talk to you about Center Global. Uh, it's a program of the DC Center for the LGBT Community, and it was begun in 2012 under the guidance of Matt Corso and Eric Sharp, who is here with us this evening. Oh. The need was evident. Displaced LGBTQ people new to this country were showing up at the center's doorstep having not received the help that they needed from the district government. So these volunteers went to work. As of this year, 2019, Center Global has supported nearly 300 asylum seekers, asylees, and refugees through their respective asylum processes. From nations on the African continent, Eastern Europe, Russia, the former Soviet bloc, Southeast Asia, and the Caribbean. The Center Global support model is unique in the US. Its mission is to provide access to healthcare, legal assistance, financial support, and most importantly, a safe LGBTQ peer community that's often unattainable in DC area diasporas. Highlights of Center Global's program include its asylum case management services, monthly support dinner and volunteers meeting, community and Capitol Hill education and outreach initiatives, partnerships with the Human Rights Campaign and DC area social support and asylum organizations, and the annual May fundraising reception. Center Global is a volunteer staff staffed program led by its executive committee, Tom Summers, Chair. Tom is here as well. <coughs> Round of applause for Tom Summers of the Center of the Earth. And Eric Scharf, the Vice Chair, under the DC Center's administrative umbrella. For the people that they serve, the district has become a less bewildering and more welcoming place. And now I'm going to borrow a, a page out of Sheila's playbook and take just one second to, for a moment of personal privilege. Uh, in 2013, the Russian government passed a law uh, cracking down on the so-called gay propaganda, which was just an excuse to uh, criminalize any public expression of LGB LGBTQ identity, uh, affirmation, advocacy in that country. Uh, and as a result, uh, anybody in that country who, had, who uh, was active in promoting LGBTQ civil rights had a target on their back. And uh, many of them ended up in D.C., and three of them, over the course of the next year and a half, two years, ended up in my home. Um, these people came to, to, to this country with nothing but a suitcase and a backpack, literally nothing. Our asylum laws in this country are such that they were not permitted to work for six months. So for the first, you know, at least six months, so for the, for the first half a year plus that they were in this country, they were entirely dependent on the goodwill of, of, of our community, of, of, of citizens, to, to survive. Um, and I saw firsthand the, the work that Center Global did for, uh, for LGBTQ asylum seekers. Everything from um, vouchers for food to transportation to hooking them up with pro bono legal assistance. This group provides life saving work for LGBTQ asylees and refugees. Uh, so it's uh, I, I, I'm personally honored to be able to, uh, to stand here before you and, and recognize. This group. I've seen firsthand the impact of the work that they do, and uh, I, I, I couldn't be prouder uh, and, and more grateful that GLA has chosen to honor this group this year. So it's my honor to present Center Global with GLA's Distinguished Service Award.